All right, you twisted freaks. I'm finally out. It's been a while. Um, I've moved house. I've come up to Brora Sutherland. Uh, I'll take some B-roll later, let you see the, you know, the house that we've bought. Really love it up here. This whole COVID situation, it's a breath of fresh air. We're in um, tier one up here, so you can still go out for a pint, which is nice. And uh, there's very little restrictions, unlike down in Fife. Um, I'm just on my way to Abothy. It's not far from my house. I don't know what condition it's in. It should just be up over here. Dorota's... Dorota's gone away up that hill for some reason. I don't know why. She wants to go to the top of it. Probably to get the view. They are amazing views. There's the sea. And I'm basically just down there. That's where my house is. Absolutely love it up here. I've dreamt of doing this for a while. And uh, with the whole COVID thing, it gave me the opportunity to get the flat decorated and sold. So basically that's why I've not been out for a while. Um, I've just been really busy selling my place. Dorota was renting, so she had to cancel the rent on that. And so there's basically been two households had to move uh, into one and it's 200 miles north of where we were so it's uh, a big change but it's fantastic the only issue is uh, I haven't got any work at the moment Dorota's working from home but I'm not worried about it I've kept enough cash back for a while to tide me over and I'll pick something up maybe start my own business something like that I think Sutherland is the best part of Scotland. I just absolutely love it up here. There's just, there's everything. There's woodland, there's hills, there's sea. Obviously this is a hilly part, but yeah, there's lots of woods around. So a little bit of bushcraft and wild camping in the woods sometime. But this Bothy, if it turns out to be good, uh, will be a little godsend for me because it's really only a two minute drive up the road and then 20 minute walk in so that would be really good for Saturday night when I want to get away from her indoors what a place I feel so privileged and lucky to have moved here it's like a dream come true the house is amazing we had a bit of an issue with the central heating in the first week it wasn't working but basically it's uh, oil fired central heating and the um, it ran out of oil and triggered a reset switch. So um, the seller got a plumber around and fixed it out, no problem, and it's working fine. We've got a open coal log fire that you can put on at night. It's just incredible. And there's just so much to explore up here. So many bothies I need to go and check out. Uh, next year, hopefully, once all these restrictions have lifted, I'll get back on the Cape Wrath Trail, finish the last part off, and it'll be a lot easier for me because, you know, I'm not that far from Malapool. But yeah, I've been meaning to um, do a video for a while, but even after I moved in, um, I was pretty busy. There was so much to get done around the house. Uh, we didn't have a fridge or a washing machine, fortunately Gumtree came to the aid with that and we sorted ourselves out for a pretty reasonable price Now, where's this bothy? Must be around there somewhere Not that far away from it The usual situation with bothies You always come across them at the last minute Anyway, this whole COVID thing's been a right pain in the ass. Um, Fife went right back into lockdown again. 
tier three. Basically all you were doing was working, eating, sleeping, watching TV. It's pretty boring. Um, so coming out here is just it's such a breath of fresh air. With uh, the Highlands being in tier one, pretty much all the freedoms are there. A uh, little bit of restriction, but like I said, I've been out for a pint at my local pub. Nice little boozer in South London. And it's nice just to do normal things again. Especially like this coming out. It was a total chance that we found this place. We weren't even thinking about Brora. It almost feels like it's uh, a hidden gem because uh, you just kind of miss it out on the map. It's on the A9, right up to Thurzo. It's got everything, it's got an amazing beach. I'm going to really enjoy living here. We thought about uh, possibly moving to the Western Isles, but I don't think I could handle living on a, an island with no trees on it. It's a little bit too remote for me. This is ideal. The village itself has everything that we need. Pub, a little supermarket, a couple of hardware stores, uh, lots of little local businesses that seem to be thriving, which is nice. If we want to get, you know, big bulk of food or messages in, and we just drive down to Tain, which is only, you know, 20 minute drive, tops, 15 minutes maybe. There's Golsby to the south of us. It's got a few places for supplies. So it's all good. Bushwhacking here. There's a bothy at a distance. Right. This is really just a, a little afternoon recce. I'm not coming up to stay here. No backpack on as you can see. Um, it's just to check it out. Pretty surprised by how quickly it gets dark up here. I mean, it's only about midday just now and the sun's really low in the sky. But it's gonna be an amazing place for, you know, things like the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. Probably a good opportunity to see that from up here. Well, it's got a chimney, which is a good sign. Nice location, secluded. Another little well-kept secret probably. Assuming it's decent enough to spend the night in inside. This is what I love about Sutherland. There's just so much to do and see and explore. New place for me. Just finding my bearings. Handy little water source here nearby. Crystal clear. Right, how to get across this river? This looks good. Maybe. Maybe not. Right.
All right, this might do. Hmm. Here we go. This is where I've got the gears on. Let's hope it's not slippy. Nah. Maybe there's a little bridge up here. This will do it. Looks pretty well kept. Wow. Hope it's open. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Perfect. Rafters on the ceiling, perfect for put a hammock up. Tins of beer. Hmm. Wow. What a bloody cool body. Special logs. Some hurricane lamps. What's in here? Any coal? More logs, a little bit of charcoal. Oh wow, what a perfect place. Definitely gonna use this place. Is that electricity? Holy smokes, got electricity. Uh, maybe, I don't know where the plug is though. Right, probably better go and see if I could find it or Looks like there's a path right here, so I came off the path too early and walked up the river on the wrong side. Sounds like the kind of thing I would do. Wow, what a place. Nice bit of grass for the camping on maybe. If the bothy's too full, which I don't think it will ever be. That's one of the best bothies I've ever seen. It's well kept. Right, let's go see if I can find her. Bring her up here. Bloody woman. I just saw her all away in the distance. Ah. Practically walked half the way out to go get her. Anyway, <laughs> love it up here. I can't believe how lucky I am living up here. So peaceful. It's even peaceful at night when I'm sleeping. Been used to living in a flat in Dunfermline. The neighbours up the stairs and underneath me. Looks like I've got good neighbours as well. Where I am, it's a terraced house. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get some B-roll on the go when I get home. Maybe later on tonight when the fire's on. Got a nice big kitchen. What a palaver though. You know, when it comes to buying and selling property. 
solicitors are such a pain in the ass. They just seem to stall every single stage. There was an issue with a right of access which we've got over a neighbour's garden. The neighbour must have built an extension about 10 years ago. And the path uh, was blocked by the extension, even though there was plenty of room to, to go around the extension. Neighbours had no problem with it. Nobody's ever had any issues with it, but the solicitor said it was a problem with the title deeds and it had to be changed and of course that was going to cost more money. Fortunately the seller uh, covered the costs of that, so, but that was going to delay matters. So I just came to an arrangement with the seller um, that he would get it done at a later stage, take responsibility for it and that's all legally binding. So. Um, looks like it's all going ahead according to plan, but it would have delayed our move in by at least two months uh, when it really wasn't needed. Just wanted to get the hell out of uh, Dunfermline. And the uh, tier 3 situation coming into winter is starting to get scary again. There's only been like one Covid case I think up in Brora, and that was only a couple of weeks ago at a garage. And the guy comes from Golfsby and he's self-isolated for a couple of weeks. And so there was a big um, thing in the newspaper there recently about uh, 92, or was it 92 or 96 or something, new cases in the Highlands. But when you looked into it further, it was um, Argyll and Butte, which for some reason is coming under the Highlands when recording COVID cases. And it was at Fastlane Naval Base. So like practically in Glasgow. Well, that's not the Highlands. So yeah, we're really lucky up here. Um, you really wouldn't think there was a pandemic on at all. Right, where the hell is she? What a time to take. Buggering up at hills and stuff. Yeah, just a wee storage round round the back. What else? That's it. Right, so I've got a lock on it. whole unopened bottle of port. I'm almost tempted. Kelly Kettle. Definitely spending a night up here soon. Nice fireplace as well. <laughs> 